Now, let's go to the real deal. What is the real deal? Well, the real deal is the cash flow success strategy. Brian, how can I make my first million dollars? What do I need to do? Well, let's help you make your first million dollars. All right, so the cash flow success strategy is in the exact same spot um, under your tools. Hopefully you guys can see my screen again. So now we're going we're gonna to show you guys the long-term goal and how to enter and earn your first million dollars over the next 60 to 72 months, however long it takes. I always tell people, look, don't, you don't have to go out and try to make a million dollars next year. You can because I'm telling you, once you understand this and you start duplicating, money can come faster than you guys can imagine. But don't break your neck thinking that you're running out of time or I'm getting too old or I'm too young. I tell people the key to making a million dollars is really just consistency. Implement a part of this strategy every single day in your life, and you can't fail. All right? Just trust me. So now you're going to go under tools, and under tools you'll see a link that says cash flow strategist. That's what I'm on right now in the back office, the cash flow strategist. So the first thing you want to do is create an account called Jane Doe or John Doe and just put in some numbers so you can understand how it works and then you want to do one for you and put in your real numbers so you can understand how that works. So let's look at my Jane Doe. There's an ABC process I'm going to take you guys through. So with A, it's real simple. What's your name? Her name is Jane Doe. And you put your name at the top. You can do as many profiles as you want, right? I have a game plan for my son who's 10 years old. I want him to have his first $4 million by 18. What does he need to do? I go and create a profile for him and he works for my home-based business, so we start implementing that game plan, right? You can create as many of these profiles as you want. So what are your objectives? What are your goals here? All right, I want to reduce my taxes first. Perfect. I want to pay off my debt second. Perfect. I want to buy a new home. Cool. I want to build my retirement. Cool. I want to increase my income. Cool. That's your business. No problem. Nobody sees this but you. All right? It's going to ask you some questions. What is the, la what is the least amount of money? I'm sorry, what's the least amount of monthly income you desire at retirement? Jane says she wants 8000 a month. No problem. Jane, when are you going to retire? Well, Jane says, I'll be done in 2039. All right, so we got to come up with $8,000 a month for her to still be happy after she retires. Jane, how much money do you have right now from Social Security, pension, XYZ? I'll get about eight fifty a month coming in from my Social Insecurity. All right, we got a little work to do because she wants eight thousand and she has eight hundred and fifty. No problem, my econ to the rescue. What is the approximate value of your investment portfolio right now? Mutual funds, four hundred one k's. We put about ten thousand dollars. She got about ten thousand dollars saved up in investments over the years. All right, no problem. How much money do you have right now invested in long term savings? I put zero. Most people have nothing outside of their work investment, so I just put zero. If you try real hard, what's the additional money that you can invest long term? She said, okay, I can squeeze out 200 if I stop, you know, eating out so much or whatever. All right, we're going to prove to you the importance of that little 200 right here. How much money do you have right now set aside for emergencies? No, in my econ, we preach you need six months' worth of income. All right, so she has $2,000, so she's way short of her living expenses, especially if after retirement she's saying she wants $8,000. i am just giving you a side note. You always want about six months' worth of living expenses, so if anything ever happens, you don't panic. Do you feel like currently you're living a pl you ha the plan you have in place will accomplish your retirement goal? Nope, by the desire frame. Nope, 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 it would not. Most people don't. All right, then you go down here. Do you typically get a refund or do you owe? Most people get a refund. Which of the following do you write off and deduct each year? I put none because most people don't have a home-based business, so I'm going to show you how you can use this software as an excellent prospecting tool to show people, man, why don't you have a business? Do you know that saves you like five to $700 a month with your own money? So we're going to show it to them. Step, final step here. What kind of bills or debt does she have? I gave her a visa with $5,000 and a $197 a month payment. I gave her a car, $24,000, a little Honda or whatever. Her note is 482 I gave her a student loan, 42000 
her note every month is two hundred, and I gave her a mortgage two hundred and forty thousand, and her mortgage is um twelve fifty a month. So I just gave her one of every bill. Okay, I just gave her one one debt for each thing. Now down here, I put her expenses in. I just gave her some common stuff. I gave her a cell phone bill. I gave her a power bill. I gave her a gas bill. I gave her an internet bill. I gave her a cable bill. Now this is my Jane Doe. I want you guys to understand. This is just to show you all how this works. Her cell phone is one twenty nine a month. Her power bill is about one fifty six. Her gas is about ninety. But she said if she tries real hard, she heard about this company where they can lower her thumbs or whatever, and she'll save about twenty five a month. So we're gonna go from her ninety to her uh sixty five and she's gonna save twenty five dollars. This is where you gotta start being accountable for who's taking more money from you than they should. She said, Brian, my Internet is about 70 with Comcast, but if I switch to Magic Jack, I can save $15. And honestly, if you switch to Magic Jack, it's way less than 55 But I'm going to save her $15 from her 70 to her 55 And then she said she's going to cut HBO and be disciplined, or she's going to cut Showtime. She's not watching the fights anyway, so she's going to save $20. So her cable bill was 139 and now it's 119 So we're right in here just in savings. Right, we pulled out sixty dollars from changing of habits. Now, you guys on this phone are smart, or you wouldn't be on this webinar. Where, again, another another quote from David Bach, my main man, automatic millionaire. What's your latte factor? In other words, how much coffee are you drinking per day, per week? How much is that costing you? What is that trip to Starbucks costing you? All you guys would do: keep adding, add more here, add more here, add a column here, add a column here. Add a column here. Add a column here. What is all that going out to lunch really costing you? Put your stuff in here and be honest with yourself so you can say, man, I could save about 120 a month if I wasn't doing this, 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 and this. I'm like, exactly. All right, so save changes and display. I'm sorry. We answered the following questions. Now let's save changes and return. So A is where you put the data in. B takes the data and shows you what it's done for you. So let's look at what happened. We need a grand a month to be happy. That's our freedom goal. Again, this is all under tools, cash flow strategies. Okay. She said she had eight fifteen coming in. I'm sorry, eight fifty from social insecurity. No problem. That means she's short seventy one fifty. Because all she got is eight fifty, and she needs eight thousand. At a rate of return of 8%, you need $1,072,500 to make this per month. I'm sorry, actually, it's to make the, the shortage up per month. So let me show you guys something. Remember, we put 10000 in her 401K. By the date that she, that she told us, 2039, her 10000 will only be 79494 so we're still 993000 short from our goal. Look at this. This is what's going to trip you guys out. She only needs $952.60 a month to land right on this, which she will earn from this at an interest rate of this by this. <laughs> okay? Let me say that again. Let's complete this. Let's tell you what the, this means. If Jane starts to put away $952.60 per month, this at an interest rate of 8%, by 2039, will accumulate $1,072,500. See, it's just consistency. That's what she needs. And this one million seventy two thousand five hundred at an interest ret at a rate of return of eight percent will cut her the seventy one the seven thousand one hundred and fifty she needs to be happy. And she's got eight fifty coming in from Social Security and that'll land her on her eight thousand dollars to be happy for the rest of her life. So what is your freedom goal? Now, let me tell you why we say you can't get rich at the bank. People say, Brian, I'm just gonna work hard and I'm gonna save my money. It's insured by the FDIC. And I'm just going to do what grandma did. Okay. The banks weren't as 
treacherous back when grandma was around, so you can't go with grandma's game plan. I'm going to be nice and give you 2% because that's not even what you get at the bank today. I'm going to hit enter. And let's look at what happened to your game plan since you want to just put your money in the bank and not understand the value of getting high returns. You want to retire the same year. You want the same $8,000. Social Insecurity is giving you the same eight fifty. You still short seventy one fifty, but at two percent at the bank, you need four million two hundred and ninety thousand dollars. That's right. At two percent, since you want to stay with the bank, your money only went from ten thousand to about sixteen thousand dollars for your retirement. Surely you can live off sixteen thousand for the rest of your life. And oh, don't forget. Now the monthly desired amount went up to $10,453. Let me just show you guys something a lot of people miss. You need more per month than you want per month. <laughs> Let me make sure, I make sure you guys understand this. You need $10,453 per month that you can invest to hit your goal of $8,000 a month. People say, Brian, why is that? Well, you have to understand inflation. See, by the time you retire 2039, the amount you need to be putting away today won't be worth the amount you want tomorrow. <laughs> so 2% is less than the rate of inflation. Well, people say, Brian, well, see, I understand you guys do all that, you know, wholesale investing. And you teach people how to go to Vanguard and T. Rowe Price and get those big 8% returns but I'm going to stay conservative with my insurance company and just do annuities and do 4%. Okay, that's better than 2. I'll give you that. That's better than 2, so let's do 4%. You still need eight grand. You still got your social insecurity, 850. You still 7150 short. But at, at 4%, you need 2,145,000. Your 10,000 only grew to 28. So you still need about $3,867 per month to be happy and land on this eight grand that you want by this year at a return of 4%. See, what I tell people, there's nothing wrong with the little insurance companies, but let me ask you a question. Why don't you just go get 8 10 20% like we do on our investment accounts and get the wholesale return, not the retail return? These are the things that we teach you. See, anybody can come back here and say, wait a minute. All I need is nine fifty two to land on my million dollars? Absolutely. Now let's go get rich, as my mentor Ivy Stokes would say. Now that you know what you need, let's go get it. Or better yet, let's find out who's getting it from us. See, that's the problem. It's not that you don't, it's not that you don't have the nine fifty two. Somebody beat you to it. Somebody else got your 952. And therein lies the problem. So let's do this. Let's put in, what's my income projection for my business? So I said she was super duper slow. Jane Doe doesn't hit the bonus even once a month. She doesn't hit it. Jane Doe hits the bonus once every two months. Y'all know we give $1,000 for every seven people who join your organization. Some people on this call are starting to hit it every week. Right, my girl Dominique Hackett killing it. Thousand dollars last week, thousand dollars a week before that, thousand dollars a week before that. She's doing well. Dominique's in D.C. So Dominique, if Dominique can make three thousand dollars in three weeks, and she really is just now learning how this all works, surely we can make five hundred dollars a month. That's a thousand dollars every two months. Now, if we go to work and look at our W four. Now that we have a home-based business, let's make the W-4 adjustment and tell the government to give us some money back with our new exemptions. So I gave Jane Doe about $250 on her W-4. So we're at 750 already. Now I want you all to see this. We don't need but 952 The business is going to bring us 500 if you just do a half-decent job, and then your W-4 is going to bring you 250 So we're at 750 now, remember at the very, very beginning, remember she said, if I try really, 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 really hard, shave some stuff here and shave some stuff there, I can squeeze out 200 Then I made her go look at her expenses, and she was giving 20 to HBO and doing some other things. All right? 
So we got two sixty from her own cash flow. Two sixty. So think about this for a second. We take the two sixty from her own cash flow. We take the two fifty back from the government. We take the five hundred from your home based business. We just accumulated ten ten with our own money. See, what I tell people is this. You can go out here and sell all you want and join some network marketing company, do weight loss, do shakes. All that stuff is great. And do um, electric, uh, gas, deregulation, long distance, cell phones, Internet. All that stuff is great. But it's kind of hard to get a person to earn $1,000 a month selling when they're giving away $1,000 a month (laughs) to other people now. Let me prove it to you. I've been in this industry a long time. Let's just say you get about 10% of what you sell, which is not true in network marketing. You get 10%. You would have to sell $10,000 worth of stuff to make $1,000 a month. I don't care if you're in your left leg, your right leg, your weak leg, your strong leg, your power leg, the power team, the unit level, the stair step, the breakaway. I know every comp plan on the planet. You need about 10 times what you give the company. 10% of that comes back to you. So to make this, which is 10,000, 10, I'm sorry, $1,010, your group has to generate $10,000 in volume in most companies. We just help you make this with your own money. Now let's go make it go, let's make it work even, go even further. I gave her a visa. We're going to take the new 1010 and we're going to get rid of this visa in five months if it kills us. Write this down if you're taking notes. There's nothing worse than revolving debt. We can live with installment debt. Installment debt typically has low interest. Installment debt, these are your student loans, your mortgage. That's, that's low interest. Revolving debt, we cannot live with revolving debt. That's the 20%, the SOFA, the 18%, the Visa, you know what I mean, the credit, the, the MasterCard at 13% if you're lucky these days. That's the revolving debt. That's what kills your future. So instead of sending Visa 197 like we used to, we're going to send them the 197 and our new 1010 for a total of 1207 per month. So we're going to get rid of this Visa in five months instead of six years. Now we're going to take the 1010 and the money we used to send the car and the money we used to send Visa. We're going to send the car people $1,689 Man, let's get rid of this car next year. Okay, 12 months and 12, uh, a year and three months. This car is gone. That, that 24000 is gone next year. No, no, but you want to stretch it out five years because my term said five years. Yeah, your term said five years, so this 24000 would be 49000 We saying, no, we're going to eat into the term, and we're going to pay a, way less for this car than you thought when you gave me that loan. Because now I've gotten smarter since then, right? We're going to take the new 1010. We're going to add the 197 you used to give Visa, because you were giving it to them anyway. The new car, the car that you used to have, you were giving it to them anyway. Man, let's go ahead and let me go down here. Knock out this student loan. Let's send it to them. Student loan will be gone in 14 months, not 18 years. We're going to send the mortgage company $2,939. Everything that was going out, we simply started with an influx of cash flow. And we're going to get rid of this mortgage in approximately, what, 60 months is five years? So this will be about nine years. No, less than that. It's about seven and a half years, not 30. See, none of your habits changed. Actually, no, your habits did change. But what you did was you got smarter with your cash flow. You were doing this anyway. Now you're starting to at least make the money work for you and not for somebody else. So people say, Brian, when can I start investing, man? I'm ready to invest. Avi has this joke. That's the uh, owner of my econ. He says, people come up to me all the time and say, how can I get an 18% return? <laughs> he said, you can get an 18% return when you pay off your visa. <laughs> get it? 18% return. Visa's no longer getting 18%. 
Okay, I thought that was funny. So, um, <laughs> but it's so true. You get an 18% return when you pay off your credit card. Um, now we're going to take the returns. Now let's go invest. See, a lot of people want to talk investing, but you still got your sofa on a MasterCard. You still got your Visa. You know, you're still eating out on your Visa. So we can go get you an 18% return, but Visa getting 14%. So your return is really 4% because you still owe them. So let's get rid of the debt. The debt is what kills you. Now let's watch what happens. We now have available net monthly cash flow. $3,139 is now available to us because we got the 1010 from the top, our own money, and we got 2139 back from the banks. See, it was the banks and the government that were keeping us from having our little 982. I hope that makes sense to you guys, man. If you don't understand anything else, I think earlier she needed 952 or 982. It's not that she didn't have it. Somebody else had it. You got to go get it. Now we get rich with our money. See, your money's making somebody rich. It needs to be you now. We started in 2013. Now, this was my Jane Doe's game plan. A, column A, on her existing portfolio was right here. Now, let's look at this. She was carrying the debt. So by her freedom goal, she only would have had $71,476. Nowhere near what she needs. That will not bring back the $8,000 a month that she needed because she was carrying a lot of debt. This is her existing plan. Let's look at this. We made her debt-free by 2023 from 2039, mortgage and everything included. I want you guys to see this. Two years later, we're at 81000 because we got rid of all this debt up here. We're at 81404 We caught her... 20-something years early. You guys see that? By 2025, she's got 81404 She didn't have that by 2039 because of the debt she was carrying in, in our current existing portfolio number one. Our portfolio with the debt elimination got her the $1,086,000 she needed in order to get the eight grand a month. Guys, you can't get rich at the bank, and you can't get rich owing Visa, two car notes, three car notes, MasterCard, um, four student loans, master's degree, Ph.D., and you chipping away with the minimum amounts. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So now the $1,086 is exactly what our Jane Doe needed to get the eight grand a month freedom goal that she set way at the beginning. That's your cash flow success strategist, guys. So people always say, you know, well, Brian, I can do this with TurboTax. Let me ask you a question. I can do this on Excel. Show me your $1,086,000, <laughs> your $1,086,213. Well, Brian, I just started. Okay. Show me where you're going to get the amount that TurboTax told you you needed to get rich. It won't do it. The software doesn't do it. Most people don't understand this because they don't even understand how finances work. Your financial advisor will do what we did way back at the beginning. They will show you, okay, you need eight grand a month, we need 952. But they don't have the game plan to show you where to get the 952. $952.80. They don't have a game plan. We always say where financial advisors stop, that's where we start. Always remember that. Because people always, it's so funny, after they see our strategy, they act like they knew this all along. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all you're doing is showing us. Okay, show me the strategy you've been using for 10 years, past 10 years. And show me if you've got about 500000 in your investments. Well, see, all y'all doing is, yeah, see, it's easy now. Now that we broke it down for you, it's simple. Okay, now, go execute that. 
Making money is just like anything else you do, guys. You need a coach. You need a plan. You need a strategy. If you want to lose 50 pounds, isn't it funny how after a trainer sits down and shows you some new, a new diet regimen, right, change your carbs this and change your sugar that and work out this and push-ups that and cardio this and calories that, now all of a sudden you want to fire him and go do it on your own. It's not going to happen. If that's the case, why are you 50 pounds too heavy now? You need a trainer to keep you going, and it's worth this little small investment of paying him for those extra 10 push-ups, those extra 20 crunches, that game plan long term. Your $29 a month is your game plan long term to make your first million way before retirement, honestly. I put Jane on the slow boat. Remember, guys, I only gave her $500 a month. Some of you guys are knocking that out within two days of the month. And then now you got your cash flow strategist. Do one for your wife. Do one for your husband. Do one as a couple. Do one for your children. You'll be shocked at how you can make them a millionaire and have their own college education paid for if you knew the game plan now. Okay? I really appreciate you guys' time, man. I really, really do. 